Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Ty. Well, he... He's talking to a pole. I, I genuinely think we've already peaked. Like, human society is on its downfall. Guys, can we not focus on Reneus for once in our lives and focus on the book club meeting? Hey, does anyone have the spark notes for this section? Oh yeah, Duke, I'll hit you up. I read them this morning. Yeah, me three. Every time I read, the book is literally pressed between me and the coach like it's on my nose. Also, while it's out there, buying two books for one engine probably wasn't a good decision budget-wise. Oh, great. So literally nobody here did the reading. Hey, Scarlo, no offense, but we maybe want to switch sentries here. I gotta down a bottle of Dayquil just to keep up with the sentences in this thing. And this morning, I opened mine and found an insect at the back. I googled it. It's extinct. Hello, Scarlo, Rusty, the rest. Uh, Samson? Where did you fall from? Oh, uh, I got hung on that tree up there. A uh, little uh, April Fool's joke here. Uh. My guy, it's June 11th. Also, uh, what is uh, Renaeus doing over there? He uh, seems to be uh, talking to a pole. Uh. One time I itched my nose on pointy rock and it bled in. Uh, yes, uh, not a very proper engine. <laughs> okay, sorry Samson, but you literally have no legs to stand on in this argument. Uh, actually, I have these robotic ones. Uh, thanks, though. Uh, honestly, I miss when Reneus was in the book club, though. He brought some interesting takes to the table. Now he doesn't even bring himself. Wait, so you mean so profound it's interesting type that oh, I'm up here again, crap? Well, Reneus wasn't always dumb. Preach. In fact, at one point, he was probably one of the smartest engines in this group. If not the smartest. Well, don't leave me in suspense. What happened? Then, hard times came. It's my pleasure to tell the story. I've got it down pretty well by now. After all, I am the oldest one here, and the group founder. Ladies, gentlemen, people I've never seen before. Okay, can you guys stop doing the invisible Chirag joke on me? This is how our Reneus turned dumb. It all began a long, long, <coughs> fly in my throat, <coughs> long time ago. In fact, it was back when we still had those little rascals, Stuart and Falcon, on the team. Or Sir Handel and Peter Sand, whatever those stupid names. Why don't they just stick to Duke, it's short version, really, man. Right. Anyhow, I don't know if you all remember how you used to question why Stuart and Falcon were the dwarf-sized engines they were. Seriously, when you took a step back, you had to make sure you didn't knock them out of the Earth's gravitational pull. Well, hey, to confess, hey, hey, those two hey, deadbeats hey, annoyed the hey, sin hey, out of me. Hey, Grandpa. Grandpa. Hey. Hey, Grandpa. Hey, hey Grandpa. Hey. And one day, I was waiting for some teeth whitener at Toby Square Hardware. But in the corner, I noticed something that caught my one working eye. It looked to be a shrink ray. Now, I was a pretty tech-savvy guy. Eh, uh, didn't you once leave an iMac out in a snowstorm and ask why it didn't boot up next morning? Guys, let me tell the stupid story! Anyway, I stole the shrink ray, as you would probably guess. And it did end up working on Stuart and Falcon, but it made their voices even worse. They were put in two times speed filter! I knew I had to set them back before all the glass on Earth broke. I figured maybe shooting them a second time would reverse it. But those two were speedy and got away quick, just as Reneus pulled in. Unfortunately, instead of his whole body, the ray shocked his direct brain and shrunk it down like five sizes. It didn't take me long to realize my foolish error. I mean, Reneus had never huffed paint before, yet alone lead paint. Thankfully, those two were eventually punished for their crimes. Do you think Grandpa is ever coming back to get us? Falcon, you dunked a small child in a tub of ibuprofen? And that's how Reneus got done. Wow, that seems like a very uh, far-fetched story. That's because that's not the story. Yeah, uh, Duke's nose could have told me that. Look, the Sir Handel and Peter Sam part is true, but that never happened to Reneus. I, for one, have the true story of how Reneus became a paint-huffing, wall-licking, grenade-pin-pulling guy. Everyone listen up. Here's how Reneus really got done. It was a cloudy night about half a decade ago, and Henry was having an open mic night. We were all sitting, waiting for it to start. 
All right, could everybody please be? I mean, could I? Could everybody? Could everybody be quiet? God. God. Okay, so unbeknownst to any of us, Henry was planning on doing a cover of the song Wrecking Ball, but the rope got cut by mistake too early. It swung slowly but very heavily towards the crowd, and as soon as it was about to strike the crowd, it thankfully just missed. Then suddenly a random box fell and hit the audience. We all examined Reneus left and right for the rest of the night, but there was nothing any of us could do. It seemed like that square object had smacked all the smarts right out of them. Eh, that one's not true either. Well, uh, make up your mind, plebeians. Uh, which story is it? The version I remember is way simpler than that. It was a bright summer day, and Reneus, for some reason, was deciding to conduct an experiment. A pretty dangerous one at that. Okay, here we go. Broken tricycle at 30 feet. Here we go. Whoa, 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 boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, with the weighted mass of that object, uh, it was small wonder what happened next. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These stories get worse as they go. What are you going to tell me next? He lost his brain on Venus? Oh, that was the one I remembered. No, you're the one that's making the Hey, the one that's true. I told them I was wrong. I just said that. No, 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 because the other two could Everyone, listen up. Stop arguing over this. We're never going to get the answer. Don't you all get it? Reneus has been dumb as long as we remember. It's simply one of those things that no one can answer truthfully. It's a story as old as time, and obviously there are several versions of it. But, like it and many other stories, it doesn't have a clear answer. Anyone can speculate what actually happened, but we shouldn't be fighting over it. Let's just get back to the book club. You know what? You're right, Scarloe. What the? Who put me here? Uh, hello there. Ah! <laughs> uh. I'm sorry this all got out of hand, you guys. Let's get back to the reading. Yeah, and even if we don't know the origins of the group's dumbest member, we sure do know who the smartest is. Thanks, Scarlowy. Now we just need to figure out what happened to Samson. Is it normal for Marquis to be this green? got the dough? Yeah, yeah, I got your dough. Just keep your side rods on. Oh, God. You know, we really should think about either ending this once and for all, or at least upping the payment. You've been paying me to act dumb in front of everyone for the past 15 years just so you can look like the smartest one in the group. Eventually, people are gonna find out, you know. We've been very lucky. Oh, don't worry. They won't find out. You, however, need to make sure you stay in character at all times. It's very important that you don't have any mess-ups. The only three times you did have proven to be remembered today. Everyone remembers the day you quote-unquote turned dumb differently because of your little character breaks. Fine. Don't come crying to me the day they find this all out. Oh, don't worry. They won't. After all, I'm the smartest one in the group. <laughs>